Good morning, goat lovers. This is Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, and we're getting ready for another show. There's a lot of questions surrounding what a show entails, how do you get started in a show. It can be extremely intimidating. So this video is just to hope that uh, I can cover at least some of the basics or the main points as to what a goat, a dairy goat show is. So for starters, if you tell people, for me anyway, when I tell people I show goats, their first response is, oh, in 4-H? Well, no, I don't show in 4-H. I show in what is called an open dairy goat show, which just means it's open to the public. Anybody that wants to show, if you're three years old or you're 83 years old, you can still show. Uh, your goat just needs to be registered, tattooed, and free of any diseases, obviously. Um, they usually have a vet on site at these shows to make sure that, in fact, your goat is healthy. So, first step would be finding a goat show near you. I would just recommend Googling it. There's a lot of goat shows at big county fairs or the state fairs. So, you could start by there, checking the website and seeing if they have an open dairy goat show. And if they do, read the rules, read the um, information provided, and you'll get dates and, and everything else as far as that is concerned. Also try Googling um, any good goat clubs near you. If there's a good goat club, I know I'm in one and it's been extremely beneficial for me. Um, so if you do have a good goat club near, near you, Try to join it and just um, get on their mailing list. They'll send you information, updates as far as shows coming up. Uh, again, that, that would be extremely helpful. Okay, so once you find a goat show near you and you know the dates, um, now it's time to make sense of all of it. What the heck is even a goat show for? I've had somebody ask me, why do you shave your goats for show? Is it so you can see all their markings? No. Um, hair means nothing to a judge. They might think it's pretty, but that is not what they're judging. They're actually judging the conformation of your goat, the structure of your goat, your goat's udder, the, the udder attachment. Um, in lamest terms, they want to, what they're judging and what they're looking for is to see a goat that's going to be able to stand up to the test of time. So they're going to be able to give you milk for many years and many breedings. Um, if it's a poor quality goat, you know, maybe their udder's gonna be dragging to the ground at five years old because they didn't have good attachment or they're weak in the, the feet and their shoulders are getting loose and falling apart and they're just not a good quality goat. So they're judging the quality of your goat. So in the ring, they're actually broken up into age groups. You're gonna have your junior does, and in a lot of cases, they're separately sanctioned than the senior does. All that means is the junior doe can take grand champion against only juniors, and the senior does can take a grand champion with only senior does. A junior doe is a doe that has not freshened. It's a doe um, can be one month up to two years old without having an udder. It can't be past two years old and still be a junior. If you have a three-year-old and you haven't bred this doe and she's never received, she has not gotten an udder, you can't show her in the junior anymore or the senior. In the senior show, you have to have a doe that has freshened, so a doe with an udder. There are some shows that it says they can be dry to be shown. Those shows are usually in the later part of the year. But, you know, the likelihood of going against other does who do have an udder, because they are, senior does are judged on their udder, um, the likelihood of winning is, is a lot more slim. So, as far as junior does and senior does, that, that's the difference between that. Now you're going to have them separated into classes as well. Classes are just the different age groups. So, say, one-month-olds are going to be class one juniors. You know, two months old, they're going to be class two juniors. Three months old, class four juniors, or three juniors, and so forth. Um, and then they'll go into the ring in their age group. And out of those age groups, they actually will judge the best one from that age group. That best one, each class, gets judged in that manner. 
And from those age groups, they will go into the final, the final lineup. So it's first, the first place winner of each class goes into the ring again, and then they get judged on the best doe at that point um, from the different age groups. Whichever doe wins um, from all of the different age groups, then that doe is a grand champion. Now, you need three grand champion, they're called legs, you need three grand champion wins to be a permanent champion doe. If it's a junior grand champion, only one of those legs will count towards their permanent championship. So say you have a junior doe that won three times, uh, grand champion three times, they're not gonna get their permanent champion um, title until they get at least two more with an udder. So two more in the senior class. All right, so just to show you guys how it actually looks on paper um, when you're filling out your form. So class one, as you see, this is in the senior classes, must have freshened at least once, meaning they have to have an udder. They had to have had kids. So class one is an animal under two years old. Class two is two years but under three, class three, three years but under four, and so forth. And then out of those, they get to go in through the senior grand champion and the reserve senior grand champion. And then there is, you know, your junior classes. So junior kid born April through May, um, and they always give a base date. And then class seven, intermediate kid um, born in March. And then eight is senior kid born in January and February, and then so forth. And then out of those ones, they get to go in the junior grand champion, the reserve junior grand champion. So once all of the grand champions from each breed have been selected by the judges, uh, meaning Nigerians, Nubians, Togs, Obies, all the different breeds, at that point, you all the grand champions are going to go back into the ring for best in show. So the best in show award is pretty much the best award you can get. That means your doe, if your doe happens to win best in show, she was the best goat that happened to be at the show of all the different breeds. So pretty great award to win. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helped at least break down a dairy goat show a little for you. Um, again, it was just the basics as far as the dairy goat show is concerned. Please comment any questions, any, any input you would like to add, and hopefully it'll help others out. I will be going to a show in a week, so I'm going to be getting a lot of footage as far as what it looks like at a show, how to be in the ring, and, you know, things like that. So please like and subscribe to my page, and there will be more videos to come. Thanks for watching.